Hello, this is Bible in a Nutshell, Part 4. What does the Bible say about the future? First of all, more than a third of the Bible is prophecies, and a lot of it has already happened. More than 300 prophecies have been fulfilled through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ with 100% accuracy. And a lot more has happened since then. For example, the diaspora, the pe Jewish people coming back together, forming a nation in 1948. All of that, if you're interested, is um, in this documentary called The Daniel Project, which I will link down there. And um, what will happen in the future? To put it very broadly, there will be, we are expecting a one world government, a one world religion, and a one world financial system under um, the Antichrist. So Christians will be persecuted under that system because we're not supposed to bow down to any other gods and the one world religion is going to be about all the religions coming together and saying that all gods is one and it's not. The Bible explains it in this way that it is like birth pains. It's just the earth, the whole of cre creation is groaning in pain waiting for the arrival of Jesus Christ and what happens after this calamity is that Jesus Christ will appear in the sky with the clouds. The clouds are the witnesses. And at some point, the Christians on earth will be raptured out to meet the people in the clouds. I used to think that was a very silly idea before I was a Christian until I it was like taking the red pill and getting being taken out of the matrix. This is all real. Jesus is absolutely real. And he is coming back and he is coming to judge. When he came for the first time on this earth, he, he said he didn't come here to create peace on earth, but he came as a sword to divide. And what that means when, so I've got a simple analogy here. This, is, this water represents um, everything that God is, so we'll call it good. This oil represents everything that God is not, and we'll call it evil. When Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of, of good and evil, this is what happened. We're made in the image of God and we're born into sin. So our state of being, this world, is a world of mixed good and evil. And he gave us free will. So we have to choose. What Jesus is coming to do is to judge everybody, the quick and the dead. And he has come to divide good and evil. Uh, like a shepherd dividing the sh sheep on one side and the goats on the other. Whoever has, more will be given to that person. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. I think that means something like this. It, it's um, he's, he's come here to divide. And when that happens, there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth on one hand. And there will be absolute glory on the other and it'll be very challenging until then um so that's what the bible says there'll be a thousand years of peace under the rulership of jesus christ himself under a new heaven and a new earth so what does all that mean god gave us free will so that we could choose and i urge you that this is more real than I could have ever, ever imagined. And please do grapple with the Lord and ask him questions. Ask him if he's real. Read the Bible. Question it. And when you're desperate, when you're absolutely in need, is the best time to ask for the Lord's help. Because he will come. He will, he, he, he will answer you. Ask, ask and seek and you shall find. And, and, and it's absolutely true. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll continue with other kinds of videos. And see you again. Bye.